Okay, let's hop into some training questions because yes. I was talking with Larry a lot about Yasso 800s and he was saying that Ambi created the workout or yeah, we, we were talking a lot about that. We want to hear how it started. I'm a huge fan, obviously. I do that workout a few times during my marathon training. So give us the details. Yeah, so I started doing that workout in the late 70s, early 80s. I was told by, you know, the other runners that I would run with, if you're going to the track, you got to do five miles of hard stuff, three mile warm up, three mile cool down, do a bunch of strides before you start and after, you know, after the cool down, all this it's always like a like 13, 14 mile workout. But I, I did five times a mile, 10 times 800, mm -hmm. 20 times 400. You know, I did a bunch of different workouts, different ladders and all kinds of craziness. But my favorite workout was 10 times 800, 400 meter recovery. Absolutely my favorite workout. So I would write down what I averaged, you know, and, uh, and after a couple years of doing that, and I was doing, you know, my first marathon was 1980, 40 years ago. So uh, I just remember this correlation that when I average the 800s would be the time in my marathon. Of course, the marathon is hours and minutes and the 800s minutes and seconds. Yeah. But the correlation was there. And as I got faster, the 800s got faster and my marathon time got faster and that correlation was still there. So I didn't notice it till after a while. And then I mentioned it to Andy Burfoot. And he's like, oh, this is a genius story. We're going to put in the magazine and all this stuff. And I'm like, hey, dude. I know it only works for me. I don't know if it works for everybody, but Envy was convinced it worked for a lot of people. He named them after me because of my unusual last name. He said, everyone's going to talk about and do Yasuo 800s and they'll remember it by your crazy last name. And I'm like, this guy's off his rocker. I don't know what he's, you know, Envy Burfoot's winner of the Boston Marathon and he's literally a genius. Um, oh. And he was right. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I didn't believe it at first, but he said after uh, Yahoo and Google became like words that everyone knows, he said, that's Yasho. He said, it's just an unusual name and no one else has it. And he said, what did I tell you? It flows very nicely. So, so Genius Ambie, marketer too. <laughs> yeah. Amby was the one that, you know, wanted to do the story. Cause I was, I was rooming with Amby. We were at the Portland Marathon, and I said, hey, i got to go out and do my 10 800s because I'm going to run Marine Corps or something in a couple of weeks. And he looked at me like I was crazy, and when I came back, I worked on all this stuff, and I had my splits on my watch back in the day where you could just record splits. I'm like, you know, not GPS style, just uh, old style. And I uh, <laughs> had all those splits there and wrote them down, and Amby was curious and when I told him what I did, and then when I ran Marine Corps, I really did get almost the exact time. He said, that's when he said, this is genius. We're going to do a story. And so I fed him the info that I had, and then he did the story and, of course, named them after me. And that was Yasso 800s. And then that came out in Runner's World in like a July, June or July issue in 1993. Wow. Really? Man. There hasn't been a day in my life since 1993 that I haven't had either a email or, you know, in the old days, a phone call. <laughs> but Twitter message, Instagram message, uh, Facebook, or wherever, every day I hear about Yasuo 800. And most people have positive outcome. There are some people that don't believe in it and don't like it. And, you know, that's fine. Every once in a while, someone will send me an email and go, bro, you got to go on this thread. They're bashing Yasso 800s. And I say, I don't have to go on any thread. They can bash Yasso They're just mad that they can't hit that marathon time yeah. because they can't run that 800 pace. <laughs> I know. Well, I always say that I, I don't have to go on any thread because I only ever said they worked for me. I told Ambie what I did, and they worked for me. And he was the one that was convinced that they would help the general population of running and not. Uh, you know, and I think what they did, they got people to the track that never been on the track before, and they got faster, so it did help a lot of people. What but, marathon time were you using it for when you kind of realized that it was working? Well, I, well probably 250 at first, and then sub 240 eventually, because uh, 250 was the qualifying time for men for Boston, so I know I that was my goal to hit, so I was trying to get under 250, and that just... I mean, I remember I averaged like 248, 249, and I ran 
249. 